Hey, I'm Bryson with Trick Tools, and inside of this kit here is the Eckold GL2 planishing hammer. So inside the kit, you get the planishing hammer, and you get seven different tooling inserts that can give you up to 13 different hammering options. You also get a little Allen wrench tool, as well as a set of earplugs to make sure you're staying safe. So with this planishing hammer, obviously what makes it unique is the fact that you can hold it by hand. So uh, good hand placements right here on the backside. You can operate the trigger here. You can also hold it underneath here and operate the trigger this way. So to be able to insert the tooling, you just rotate the collar here, slide the tooling in, release the collar, and the die is in place. Same thing for pulling it out. Rotate the collar, pull the tooling out. You can switch to something else relatively quickly. So uh, the hammer is adjustable. Uh, there's a knob here on the back. You can adjust the air pressure to speed up or slow down uh, the hammer. And so this gives you the capabilities of being able to hammer inside of a car on a project, uh, places where you wouldn't be able to get another hammer that you might have to swing uh, by hand a lot uh, with a normal hammer. So with this, you can obviously uh, fine tune it to do some fine planishing on a car, on a hood, on a roof, uh, something that's too big to be able to fit uh, inside of a normal planishing hammer type machine. Uh, it's pretty lightweight easy to use, and it really gives you some unique capabilities when it comes to planishing. All right, so when you're ready to get to hammering, uh, you wanna choose your tooling insert. There's a number of different steel inserts here, um, five different hammering ones to be exact, and it's gonna give you a couple different radiuses here to be able to uh, achieve some different stretching applications, uh, flat planishing, uh, insert. There's also the linear stretch one uh, again for doing uh, like flanging and that sort of thing. And then there's these two adapters here that hold all the synthetic plastic die inserts. So uh, basically you just grab one of these inserts out of here, uh, pop it in the tooling, and then you're ready to go. Uh, and these synthetic ones are going to be non-marring for different uh, soft alloys uh, and that sort of thing. You get a couple different radiuses for stretching and then number of flat uh, dies here for doing some planishing and that sort of thing. So once you're ready to planish, uh, you pick up the hammer, grab a insert, and then slide it in there, make sure it's ready to go. Now you never want to hammer, never want to have uh, be using this um, when you don't have something backing it up. So always have, uh, always have it on the metal uh, with a dolly behind it, that sort of thing when you're ready to use it. Um, that way you don't cause any damage to the hammer itself. So once you're ready to start going, um, you know, you can do this into a shot bag. Uh, if you're doing a panel on a car and you're doing some planishing, uh, you can then uh, obviously back it up with a dolly uh, to replace normal hammer and dolly type work. So uh, once you're here, uh, like I said, you kind of find your air pressure. Obviously uh, you can turn it, That's that was up pretty high. So uh, we'll turn it in just to slow it down a little bit here. So you can see, uh, you can adjust it out to be able to achieve uh, some different uh, hammering uh, with that. So uh, this we're gonna hammer it into a shot bag, show you guys some of the uh, shaping that it can do pretty quickly, so. So you can see uh, that makes pretty quick work of uh, you know doing uh, you know work into a shot bag, putting some really rough shape into something, uh, and then if you want to come back and you know try to fine tune this a little bit, um, you know this is uh, 063 3003 aluminum. So um, what I'm going to do here is swap out to one of our synthetic holders. We'll get that in place, and then. Uh, I'm just going to try to smooth this up a little bit. Uh, there is a locating pin inside of here, so that's what I was trying to do is rotate this around uh, to find the hole in the insert. And there it is there. So we're going to walk over here to our PEXO uh, stake. And then I also want to turn down the air pressure on this.
So you can see, uh, you know, it's real easy to control uh, even with your hand on the back. So if I was to even hold it the other direction, still pretty easy to control. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot of vibration to it uh, in the sense that you get really out of control. Now, obviously, if you turn the air pressure up, uh, it's going to be faster, more vibration, uh, could potentially get more out of control. But, uh, you know, it's, it's real easy to tune in and find that sweet spot uh, for whatever you're hammering on. Um, you could even uh, change out the dies. We'll put this uh, linear stretch die in here. I'm going to grab a little flange. Uh, we've been up just a little 90 degree flange and what you can do is much like you would a shrinker stretcher but if you wanted to uh, you know put a little bit of shape uh, in this flange you can hammer on this and it'll stretch it out so uh, you can see already just that little bit of hammering it's barely starting to put some curve uh, into that so i'm going to go ahead and turn this up just a little bit And there you go, putting some curve in a flange uh, and you know any other applications, obviously you need some type of linear stretching for. So uh, for more information on this GL2 handheld planishing hammer, give us a call or visit our website at tricktools.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on high performance tools for the fabricator.